it's Rachel McKinley, and I am the chocolatier at Purdy's Chocolatier, and I'm here with my friend Sawyer. And Sawyer and I are going to invent a new chocolate today. So Sawyer, if you could imagine any chocolate, what would it look like and what would it taste like? Mm. Sawyer wants to design a chocolate robot, which is an idea I love. It looks cool, it looks vintage, it's gonna be so fun. He's making it complicated though. He wants marshmallows, he wants caramel, he wants wafers, he wants cashews. We'll see what we can do. This is gonna be fun, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll see you at the factory. I say goodbye to my buddy Sawyer and I head off to the factory to work. At this point, I have to think really carefully about where I'm gonna start and I think it's gonna be with the body. I've got some silver colored cocoa butter, I paint it on a plastic sheet and then I start to temper and get ready with my white chocolate. Then I pour it onto that silver cocoa butter and let it set and that's gonna make the white chocolate body look metallic. Next thing, I'm gonna take a stencil and I'm gonna cut the pieces of the body so that I can make a nice block rectangle that I can then fill with all the layers of complexity and flavor that Sawyer has asked for. There's a lot going on here. There's different flavors and textures all gonna fit in this little chocolate box. We already have things that can go in there, so I decide to use our Purdy's Caramel Marshmallow Bar and our Salted Hazelnut Flake, which is full of wafer flakes, to build some layers inside of the box. Now that the body's built, it's time to think about how we're gonna hold it up. Now, I need something that's gonna be strong enough to hold up the weight of that filled box. So I take some cashews and some milk chocolate and I make a paste, and then I fill the chocolate cups to try and give them some strength and some weight so they can hold up that heavy body. And I stack them up and I let them set for a while, and now I'm gonna attach them to a chocolate chewy bar, which has a nice density to provide a solid foundation for the robot as it's feet. try our chocolate bars. Chocolate bars are really strong. They're a good building block for something and I need to hold up something heavy. So I attach them to the chocolate chewy bars and I fill in the gap with a little bit of our ocean peach truffle. I just thought it would be cool to add some color and maybe make it look like a little bit like robotic buttons. Now we have a standing robot. From here on in, everything was pretty smooth sailing. detail I felt was missing in Sawyer's drawing, and that is, every robot needs a heart, and this one was definitely made with love. Finally, it's time for the reveal. Sawyer, are you ready? Yes! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see this. All right. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> that is awesome. So, this is exactly what you drew. Inside the body, we have layers in there of caramel marshmallow bar and layers of salted hazelnut flake. So when you open him up, you'll be able to see all the layers. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Are you ready to eat some chocolate? Yes. Okay. And I'll just, whoop. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. What do you think of that? Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Overall, I think Sawyer was pretty happy with his chocolate robot, and let me tell you, the dude chowed down. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this robot and hanging out with my buddy Sawyer, and I hope you have a chocolatey day.